Hello, 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 everyone. So this is going to be, I don't know if it's really a haul, but I got some stuff off of Amazon. Um, I haven't shopped at Amazon for a while. And I just saw, mostly because I've been getting a lot of, um, what do you call it? Like indie decks, which are generally more expensive or almost always more expensive, right? Um, so I went on Amazon because I'd been wanting to grab some more grimoires regardless and I feel like Amazon's a good place to go for that sort of stuff sometimes so I thought I would just unbox the whole thing here so it looks like this is the Tasmania African Tarot then we have the essential oils healing deck and then we have the Amor and Psyche Oracle which I've been eyeing for a while then we have the Blood and Bones, working with Shadow Magic and the Dark Moon, and Grimoire of the Thorn-Blooded Witch, mastering the five arts of old world witchery. And then this is not anything to do with magic or anything like that. This is actually the sequel to a book um, called Stealing Thunder. Um, it's about a trans Desi Muslim princess who rides on a dragon. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Um, oh, I thought that said New York bestseller and I was like, oh, wow, good for her. Yeah, this is like really amazing. I love it. So I bought a physical copy. The other one I have is just digital. So that's really nice. And then I got myself some grimoires, especially some of the older magic grimoires, stuff like this. I don't know. Um, a lot of my practice is based on like traditional West Indian stuff, which can be very, very dark in general. Um, I, especially being vegetarian, have like definitely changed how I get what I need for stuff um, and like the sources that I use. So most of the sources that I use are, no, literally, not even most, all the sources that I use are like botanical <laughs> in nature. Um, botanical and maybe sometimes crystals if I need something to like carry charge basically but yeah so those are the books um that's not gonna be the main focus i just thought i would like show you what i got in bookland but here's what we have let me make sure that you can see it okay so let's start off with the tasma african tarot so i have an afro-brazilian tarot here this is um los garabeo um i have afro-brazilian roots so i thought it would be a nice you know Thing to grab. I also have African roots, so I wanted to grab this too. Um, and I'm like really light skinned, so it's usually like I guess a little shocking, but um, my oh goodness, grandpa is from Nigeria. Oh gosh, so it's, I'm not like claiming something way back <laughs> if that helps at all. Um, I just came out very light skinned. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. This is like lush. This is so this is like the expensive one, especially for a mass produced deck. This is pretty expensive, but I can see why. Like this feels good. This feels like a nice box. The Tasma African Tarot is a wonderfully crafted collage art that embodies African ancestry through the his through historical images. Tasma means to see in Swahili. Connecting with ourselves and our intuition is such an important aspect in our lives. When going inward, a deep sense of connection to our roots and ancestry is something that many people have been longing for. We know what our ancestors we know that our ancestors are always with us, giving us the strength and wisdom that we need. If only we would take a moment to listen. What are they whispering? Can the cards make you see the paths that unfold before you? The publisher of this beautiful art is Abu Sapa. The word stands for good family or family unity in Fante, a language spoken in central, southern, and western regions of Ghana. Emphasizing our family unity by focusing on the representation in art, Abu Sapa is a brand that will go forth making beautiful things, focusing on representation of African and diaspora families, diaspora families. It's my family, so I, it's one of the reasons I got this. I do a lot of ancestor work, but it's mostly with the white side, um, my family. So I've been really trying to incorporate more 
because especially because that's the magic system I use, right, is based on my ethnic roots, my West Indian roots, not so much my white roots or the Germanic magics. Ugh. Wow, this is difficult to get out. I don't want to, it's like caught. That was a little, that was a little much getting this out. Um, I bent a card trying to do it, so it's interesting. <sighs> Feel a little bad about that, but it's very tightly in there. Oh, I see. So this is like an extra card. Look deeper beyond the fictions of matter. See a multitude of possibilities and realities that dance within the infinite folds of time, where the drums of our ancestors beat like man... Dinka hearts. Swords crossed like Moorish scimitars above the ancient Bakuba cups that runneth over with prosperity, and creole spades that unearth the truths of our pasts, the steps of our present, and to the vision of our illustrious future. I love that. I love that. That's... Uh, yes. All right. So just starting off, we have the Fool. I love the halo that's here. The magician and I love that these are actual the majority of these are actual people right oh my gosh this is a powerful deck I don't know if I'm just gonna ever just work with this because this is this is strong energy like this would be something that I would have to use for maybe ancestor work or something like that like certain decks I feel are meant to be used in certain ways and generally that's just based on the genre and I feel that that's very specific with oracle decks for me in general. Like I wouldn't so much use a love oracle deck for something that's not love related just as a rule. Yeah this goes in a lot easier and comes out a lot better now without that extra card. Um, just because this doesn't make as much sense especially when it's like soulmates or stuff like that. Like you could you know, interpret that kind of like the two of cups, just like business partners or like a strong connection, whether it's platonic, romantic, or, you know, whatever the heck else. But um, generally just keep them within the wells that, you know, they want to go back to, you know, within the spring that it comes from. Just because I find that I get better readings that way. So I definitely feel that this is going to be like an ancestor deck. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be, I feel like it's intense. It's very intense. I'm kind of happy for that intensity because like my Afro-Brazilian deck does not feel that intense to me. Oh gosh. Here we go. All right. So next we have the Essential Oils Healing Deck. So I've seen this a lot. I got this mainly for the art. I love botanical themes. I use botanics, botanicals in my craft like aggressively. <laughs> um... Because you have to be able to, like, garner and get some earth soul up in the craft that you're doing if you don't want to, like, exhaust yourself in the way that I, I do things. I'm probably going to, like, put this as, like, magic and um, tarot hall because I'm talking a lot about practice or as I practice or whatever. But, yeah, the idea is that it just helps you get some intent going, basically. Um, and I love cards with botanical themes. Oh my god, these backs. I didn't show the backs on the other one. I'll have to do that too, but these backs are beautiful. Oh my gosh. And there's like a lot of cards. It's 52 cards. Oh, I just love this art. I'm going to use this all the time. I want to use this in, I think I want to use this in client readings. That's like an ending card. Balances and clarifies, like things that they can take forward with them or take with them out hmm. oh my gosh and the cardstock on that well, well it's a little thin but it feels great in the hands this is a good deck this is a really nice deck and then it comes with a pretty thick guidebook i don't think the other i don't think um the tasma came with the guidebook but it like gives you some uses for it this is good for fungal infections frankincense is oswellia yeah, so it gives you some of the uses, safety, how to prepare it, and some of the history. So I really love this deck. Um, I've been wanting this for a minute too. I already have a essential oil deck too. I just, I love botanics. Botanics are really heck and cool to me. I find them incredibly interesting um, and beautiful. 
All right, and then we have the Amor and Psyche Tarot, or Oracle, sorry. This is Los Scarabeo. Um, I think this is relatively new from my understanding, like this year new, if not this year, last year new. Wow. I am so good at opening this up. I feel like half of the pleasure of watching my unboxings is like me attempting to get into things. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. So this is, I'm assuming curated, well maybe not because she has blush on, um, by Georges Barbier and Rachel Paul. Okay, this does not have as many cards. This is why I've been kind of, I had been sitting on this since I saw it because I was like in San Francisco visiting a friend and I saw this deck in like this cute little bookstore um, and I was like, oh my God, it's so cute, but it was like $30 and like the amount of cards in here, I don't think are a lot for 30. Oh yeah, 30 Oracle cards is not a lot, but I just love ancient Greece. Um, ancient Grecian art, ancient Grecian, classical Greece art, classical Greek art, classical Greek art. There we go. That's what I'm going for. I love, ooh, well, mm, yeah, I'm not a, that's a little, that's a little spicy having someone, especially when it's not so much historically accurate, right? <laughs> and if that's one of the only depictions of a woman of color, that is definitely a choice. Cause like, I'm not. I'm not considering these olive skinned people that we're seeing women of color so much because then again, this is Greece. So like you were olive skinned um, at that time, more than likely if you were in Greece, it was just part of, you know, being in a place with lots of sun and no sunscreen. Yeah, they don't shy away from the nudity. It's interesting. I'm, Wow, they're like really, they really go for it <laughs> with this. Yeah, I'm like going through the entire thing because I'm I'm really hoping there's like another woman of color in here and they didn't just put a woman of color in a place of servitude. <laughs> Great, yeah, well, that's not, that's not, maybe I'm thinking too into it. Maybe I shouldn't be as sensitive to that I don't I don't know I don't know it just to me it's a little weird right that you're gonna you're only gonna include one woman of like one black woman in this and that black woman is going to be in a sub like this role <laughs> and it, it's not to say that there weren't like African um slaves that were present in you know ancient Greece and ancient Rome they existed but slavery wasn't chattel slavery back then you could get out of slavery and you could become incredibly rich and there were incredibly rich black people in Rome incredibly rich well I don't actually know how slavery worked for Greeks if they had you know North African slaves or something like that I know that there were Africans who were incredibly rich and um who were slaves and like from all strata of society in Rome but I actually don't know so much about Greece so I don't even know if like there would have been so that's the thing like if you're going to do inclusion like in diversity don't do it as an afterthought and, and try not to play into tropes that are tired for a reason um it's really all I'm going to say with that but yeah so this is the Amoran Psyche Oracle let me pull out the um Tazma Tazama sorry Tazama African Tarot I love this velvet that it comes into, just so we can see the backs, because I, oh, it does have a nice book. Oh, it's a very, it has the best book. It's a very nice book. I love this. This kind of reminds me of a larger version of the um, Modern Witch Tarot. It has the same kind of information. I'm loving this as well. I, mean, I want to I don't want to call it gilding because I think there's a difference but it's reversible I love this yeah it's cool as heck cool as heck man all right and then here are the backs all right love this stack Love this energy. Okay. Right. 
Thank you guys again for watching.